this is probably the most interesting transformation that I went through. So in this video, I wanna show you what my hair looks like right now. guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Melanie and I talk to you guys about my life after cancer okay so I have been saying I'm going to film this video for a very long time and I haven't very honestly just because it's about my hair but my hair is always a mess like always a mess curly hair is so hard to control and so it's either up in a bun on the days that I'm filming or it's down but I had like just slept on it and so it's a big frizzy mess and it doesn't look good and parts of it are flat and it's just been blah. so in true ironic fashion I'm just gonna go ahead and do this video while my hair is up in a bun and you can barely see it. What's very, very interesting is that when you go through chemo, and I don't think a lot of people know this, is it actually can change the texture of your hair. Now, if you don't know, you haven't seen any of my other videos, um, when I went through chemo, I did shave my head. And something that's also interesting about that is that oftentimes you don't actually lose all your hair. It kind of just depends on how aggressive the chemo is and how long that you've been on it for. But a lot of people end up shaving their heads purely for the reason that it's so obnoxious when your hair is falling out in huge chunks. You'll fall asleep, wake up in the morning, pillow covered in hair. You go into the car, into like the driver's side or the passenger side, whatever side, doesn't really matter because your hair is still gonna fall off. You get up and it's on the head press. Um, it's all over your clothes, it clogs the drain in the shower. Like it's just such a pain to be losing such huge chunks of hair at a time. Now, it's very normal to like put your fingers through your hair and have hair come out. Even like sometimes in the shower now, I still get like, pretty big chunks of hair coming out. But when you're going through chemo, it comes out at such a fast rate that it's genuinely shocking to you that you still have hair there after you've run your fingers through it because it feels like you just pulled out all of the hair on the side of your head. And to be honest, that feeling is just very annoying and I think that that's probably the reason why most people decide to shave their head. At least that's why I decided to shave my head. So my lovely boyfriend at the time, who is now my fiance and very, very soon gonna be my husband, uh, went ahead and just took a razor straight to my head and he shaved it off. Funny story about that, now that my hair is getting longer, it kind of doesn't really have a shape to it, which is another reason why I haven't filmed it because my hair is just a hot mess. And I was telling him how I might want to cut my hair and he's like, oh, I'll do it for you. I was like, hmm, no, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, so before I shaved my head and before I went through chemo, I had very straight hair. So to show you what I'm talking about when I talk about my transformation, I'll go ahead and insert some clips in here. It was pretty long for large chunks. As you can see in some of these photos, it did have maybe like a little bit of a wave to it, but this is pretty natural. This is like blow dried, right? So I'm not talking with a straightener or anything and it was straight. Now you may notice my hair is pretty curly. I'm not sure, can you see that? See, the bun's actually kind of useful because I put all the curls right here in one spot so you can see it, see? So, my hair is pretty stinking curly. Now, unfortunately, I think it's starting to relax a little bit, which is like heartbreaking to me because I love my curly hair. But even relaxed, it's definitely way curlier than it was before. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer a few questions that you might be having because I've gotten these questions quite a few times. And the first one is, do I wanna straighten my hair? No, 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 no. <laughs> I do not want to put any heat to my hair whatsoever because I love these curls and I want to keep them as long as I possibly can. Normally, if your hair does this, where it was straight before and then goes curly or vice versa, then after a few months, it tends to go back to normal. However, I am over a year and a half into remission and my hair hasn't gone completely straight yet and so my oncologist believes that it'll probably stay curly. My guess is probably until I get pregnant and then hormones, you know, but that, that whole process. Second question, which I already pretty much answered, is do I miss my straight hair? No, I do not miss my straight hair at all. I feel like you always want what you can't have, and I actually get it now. <laughs> and so, now that I have it, I want to keep it as long as I possibly can. Um, let's see. I think that's kind of all the questions that I have gotten. So, if you have any more questions about my hair before or after, please definitely leave them in the comments below. I will answer them 
for sure. And if you thought like, this is interesting and I had no idea that that happened, or even if you did know it happened, but you still think it's interesting, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe so that that way you do not miss any other post-cancer related videos in the future. I'll see you guys later, bye.